billion pounds as a result of privatisation. If you add to that point punctuality, better punctuality, a better, a better level of service and customer care, would my right hon. Friend not agree with me that it is time that the profits of gloom and doom opposite recanted and accepted the reality that privatisation is good for the railways and good for the tax. Well, my honourable friend is quite right. And it isn't very long ago that the opposition were trying all sorts of scares about privatisation, safety on railway, services being cut, all of which have shown to be utterly and comprehensively wrong. The reality is that there's now new uh, rolling stock being introduced, the service is being improved, there is more investment than there was before, extra services are being run on a whole range of lines up and down the country. Honourable gentleman may shake his head, but all he is showing is the fact that he is ignorant, not that he has any knowledge. Mr Paddy Ashdown. Mr. Speaker, but, uh, we have said what we would do to provide extra funding for the health service both next year and now. Madam Speaker, if the government has decided to commit more money to the health service for next year, that is a good thing. And if they have decided that the right honourable gentleman, the former foreign secretary, was right when he said that cutting taxes would be rejected in Britain if it was bought at a cost of closed hospital wards and sacked teachers, that's an even better thing. But does the heard. Prime Minister not realise that the crisis in the health service is not next year, it's now. Wards are being closed now. Operations are being cancelled now. Waiting lists are growing again now. That money is needed now. Will he provide it? And if not, what will he do to avert the National Health Service crisis and prevent any further uh, closure of hospital wards this coming winter? Yeah. I think the right honourable gentleman had better wait for the uh, statement by my right honourable friend, the Chancellor, on funding for the health service. That, that, will be made that will be made clear at the time of the budget, and I have nothing further to say to the right honourable gentleman this afternoon, except this. It was the right honourable gentleman. It was the right honourable gentleman who was lecturing us about spending and debt just a few days ago. Now it is the right honourable gentleman advocating extra expenditure. Whatever happens to be his tune for the day, he will shift to it. We have said, and we have kept the promise throughout 17 years, that we will provide extra resources for the health service to make sure that it is able to match the needs of the people of this country. That is why more are being treated and better treated than ever before. And the growth in the health service over the years has outstripped every other area of government and I have made it clear in the future that it will beat the inflation rate year after year after year. That is a pledge that people don't have to look in the mirror to see. They can look in our record. We have done it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr Nicholas Winter. 